Hi, this is Kani Shida from BI Publisher channel. Today I'd like to show how to create master detail report with BI Publisher very quickly. So let's take a look. So here I have a, a customer order status master detail report. So in the master section, I have the customer information, so customer name, address, email address, etc. And in the detail section, I have the uh, particular customer's order history per product. And with 11G interactive view, uh, now you can interact with the data. So in this case, I have the table. So I like to show, for example, a filter by just the channel, online channel. So I, I can show that only the online channel uh, purchase. So now like I have this data. Or for example, or like if I don't need to filter it, I can just select all, and that will show like all the uh, different channels. And also, like I can do the sorting. So, for example, if I want to do the sort on, uh, by the order amount, um, I just select, and then our data is being sorted. And also, like I can change the param uh, customer name uh, by using the parameters. So, for example, I like to see particularly the Constantine Wells data. So I just click, and then now the data is refreshed, and I have the customer name of Constantine, and then also his uh, uh, product order history. So now, um, oh, before that, also like I have a different output format. So this is an interactive view, but I can show an HTML or PDF or MS Word or Excel, etc. For example, if I select PDF, uh, I can see in this format. So it's suitable for, for example, the printing out or uh, type of things. So now the question is how to uh, create this report with BA Publisher. So first thing I want to do is create a new report here. So select a report from menu. And then now I can select the data model. Uh, in this case, I like to select the order data model. And now like I have the option either uh, using predefined template or start from scratch. In this case, I like, uh, I'm going to use that blank uh, template, which just gives me the blank page. And then now like I want to insert layout grid. Um, <clears throat> in this case, I select the two rows and one column, and that will give me the two column uh, here. And then now I like to insert the, um, another layout grid, and this is going to be my master section. So I add, add it to just two by two. And in a second, this is going to be the detail section. So I'm going to insert the data table. And then inside the data table, I like to uh, have the date information. So order date here. So I'm going to just drag and drop. And then also the order mode. Uh, this is going to be for my channel information. And then next is uh, a product information. So like product name. And then maybe uh, here, uh, order total to display um, the order um, uh, total here. So so I have the four columns and then in the detail. And then now like I'm going to change that to date format. For example, here uh, had, I have the date and time, so I select this. And then here, the number, uh, I want to um, change the number format to have the uh, US dollar currency symbol. And here is a summary section, so I'm going to change that the, uh, number format as well. Uh, select this. And here, as you notice, here's a sum summation. Um, if I don't like it, like I have other options to calculate. But in this case, I'm fine as uh, summarization. And then now here, the master. So I'm going to insert a text item, for example, here. And then I want to have customer name. And here, uh, I can just insert the customer name here, the customer first name. And also, I want to have the customer last name. And I like to have something in between instead of concatenating together. So in this case, I have the text item and then insert in between. And then just type uh, comma and space. And in this case, uh, I, do not, I don't like to have um, um, return key here, so I just select that inline. So this will give me um, just the comma between those two data points, data fields. 
and then I can have other information. So for example, maybe customer's address uh, or customer's phone number type of thing. So let's, uh, let me add a customer address here. Um, sorry, um, so this is a data, so I can just select here and then I can have the title of the address. So here, I just type address. That's that. And now I select these two place and I change the uh, font setting. And after I change the font setting, and now um, I like to change the column size so to be something like this. And let's preview it. So I need to actually save this template. So I create a order status, click save. I'm just uh, saving the layout right now. And then I can preview this report layout. So now this is giving me the customer name at the bottom and also in this particular customer's order history. So I go back and then I can also add a report header, a report header to be a customer order report or something. So customer order status report. And I can also change the font uh, setting to be uh, something big, uh, 14, and uh, change the font uh, style, and uh, make I, I can change the <coughs> alignment as well. And now, like here's a table, uh, I can change the table uh, formatting as well. So in this case, for example, I select a table column header, and I go to the property, and I change the, for example, background, and background to be just white color. And also the borderline, I can change that too. So in this case, um, I'm going to change that to no borderline for the top and then um, left and right. But I'm going to keep the uh, borderline at the solid for the bottom. So something's going to be like this. And in the table body, um, I do not like to have the border. So I can change that too. So here, I come here use same value for the old size and select that and then make it none. So this is going to affect to uh, all of the uh, positions. And then similarly, I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom. This is a, a total uh, section. So I'm going to change that to white color background and the borderline to be just to be only for the top. So that says I'm going to make that none for the left and right and then the bottom. So it's something going to be like this. And then now I like to um, also change that uh, table format um, to be something here. So for example, there's an alternative row color. So I'm going to change that to light gray. So this one is going to give me something like this. And this pro um, probably uh, much easier to read the data. Right? So at this point, I'm going to go to the preview and uh, to make sure what is the report layout is looking uh, right now. So something looking like this. And also go back. Um, I can change that to uh, default to display roads. So I'm going to change this one to uh, 20. So I can do from property, or I can actually do from the ribbon as well. So this one, uh, just extend the size of the table. This might be easier to look at the report. Um, it de uh, depends um, how the user would expect. So something like this. And now like I have the default, uh, this uh, filtering option or sorting option, it all comes for free. And then you ha I have the cus uh, customer's master section and then the port title as well. Now, um, I added extra information. So for example, here like I added more uh, customer information. So such as phone number, email address, and country, and then credit limit. And also, I split the uh, date information to just date and then time, um, something like that. So now, like uh, uh, I want to do the last thing here is that uh, changing the table column header. So now this one is the order date. Uh, so like I'm going to change that to order date, and this is now uh, order time. And here, I like to have that maybe like this one is more like channel, right? And in this one, it could be a product name. And here, uh, just amount, maybe uh, 
here, um, data or something like that. And then now I like to change the format uh, for the table uh, header. So I make that as a bold. Um, then that's good. And here, because it's number columns, I like I need to change the alignment to be right alignment. And this looks good. So now um, I'm gonna save this report and click return. And then I'm gonna save this report um, here. I'm gonna change, select my uh, folder. Uh, here it goes. And here is my folder. And here, uh, order. Um, let's let's call it product order report. And I click save. So now I click the view report. And here is my report. Uh, it's display and exactly the same way we had. So now I can um, scroll down the table. And also, like I have the uh, default uh, column header base um, filtering and sorting that comes uh, without any coding or scripting or anything. It just comes with a table. And also, like I have the parameter for the master section. So here's the master and here's the detail section. And also, like I have a different layout format option. So like I can select PDF or HTML, like we saw at the beginning. Okay. So this is how you can create the master detail report with Oracle BI Publisher very rapid way. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, this is BI Publisher channel.